Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch in Pretoria, sunny South Africa. My name is Gustav Miller and you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 167 and it's also the third one in this mini-series that I'm doing on Ben Riak 15-year-old single malts, limited release, special wood finishes. So I've already reviewed and I've done food pairing with the Madeira wood finish and also the Pedro Jimenez wood finish and in this video I am reviewing the Tawny Port 15 year old Tawny Port wood finish from the Ben Riak distillery Ben Riak founded in 1898 situated in the Speyside region of the Highland of Scotland and it's owned by the Ben Riak Distilling Company which is part of the Brown Foreman Corporation. As I said this is a limited release uh, together with all of the others which is a pity because it means that it's not that widely available across the world and it is really a wonderful range of bottlings from Ben Riak. It's non-chill filtered, it's natural color it's 15 years old, it's bottled at 46% ABV and this whiskey was matured in ex-bourbon casks and then it was finished in aged tawny port hogsheads sourced from the Douro region in the north of Portugal that is where they got these hogsheads Benriak, of course, one of the very few distilleries with its own malting floors. There is a photo of the front uh, entrance, sort of, of the distillery and the malting floors of the Benriak distillery. I've already poured my dram a little bit before the video started. And I can't wait to share with you this review and what I'm getting on this wonderful whiskey. Look at that deep copper color and um, some legs forming there on the glass. It is not that viscous of a whiskey. It's quite actually quite thin in texture. On the nose. Mmm, rich, rich, rich port dried fruits, dark caramelized sugar, some some kind of old wood aroma on the nose. Honey, dark honey. There's a some kind of a floral note with a bit of coconut and then cinnamon buns. Cinnamon bun aromas that I'm getting on the nose and on the palate. Hmm, 46% ABV and on the palate I'm getting some butterscotch, I'm getting that port red wine flavors, some, some fruit, peaches and dried fruit, raisins on the palate. The oak wood is there, there's a bit of a herb element to the flavor profile and then again the cinnamon bun flavors that I'm picking up mm. sweet sweet red wine cinnamon dry and oaky that is the finish it doesn't have a very long finish I would say medium long finish and the herbiness and the and the cinnamon spiciness the dried fruit is sort of lingering and then it gradually translates to a slightly bitter note and then a bit of dryness right at the end so i've added a few drops of water and i'm going to see what a few drops of water will do to this dram 
immediately an oiliness there on the glass after the water that I've added. I would say this aroma that I'm getting now is like a spiced wine together with the hot cross bun aromas. That's what I'm getting on the nose after the water. Mm. It's quite thin in texture. I'm getting light port, spicy and then the dry notes on the palette. I would say I would say that my summary for this 15 year old from Ben Riak would be dried fruit in a light spicy port reduction. That would be my summary for this particular whiskey. When I still could get hold of this it was around uh, 900 to 1000 Rand here in South Africa. I could not get a US dollar or a UK pound price. But working just on the exchange rate, 900 Rand would translate to around, um, that would be around 60, probably 60 pounds and $70 more or less. Pairing this whiskey with a food snack, I have chosen one of my favorite food snacks for whiskey pairing, which is date crunchies. Date crunchy is made from a crunchy biscuit and then dried fruits and dates. And it is a wonderful pairing, especially for sherry cask matured whiskies. But it's going to work very well with this one. I have got a feeling that it will because of the dried fruit, the raisins and the baking spice elements in the flavor profile of this whiskey. So here we go date crunchy for this whiskey mm. this whiskey has got the most wonderful nose Mm, mm. This is a very good pairing. It tones down the darkness in the flavor profile of the whiskey and it enhances some of the lighter notes that is not that evident before the pairing. I'm getting more lighter flavors now, more peaches, more coconut. And that is just wonderful. This is a good pairing. What a wonderful experience. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this Ben Riak journey. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, which will be the last and the fourth one in this series. And I'm going to review the dark rum. And then after that one, I'm going to do a summary video in which I will reveal which one of these is my personal favorite. Until then, slanjet.